All right, what's up guys, it's Zed and what we have here, as you can tell from the title, is the start of my Real Madrid camera mode. As for the settings for the camera mode, we're using ultimate, obviously 5 minutes, half, um, pounds, blah, 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 financial takeover, none, negotiation, strictness. I would like that to go to strict because I don't want to buy any players from Barcelona, but then they actually buy from Atletico Madrid in real life, so I guess I'm just, I'm just going to have to leave that on loose. International job offers are none, and then for transfer window, I'm going to disable this for the first um, transfer window because I, I already have the updated squad, squad and I don't want to like have different squads at all. So I'm going to start my transfers in the next transfer window. Z Midi Four, that's my name. So my tactical vision. The thing is that I've actually played this game long enough to know that I really don't. I, re I really am not interested in any tactical vision. So I'm going to go for standard with that. And then as for the coaches, obviously I'm going to start with the attack. Five stars. So I also have 18 stars for attack, 25 stars from midfield, 23 for defense, and 11 for goalkeeping. This actually like gets updated and all. So eventually I would like try to. Um, balance it out with the coaches I have but right now I just I have just two in attack three in defense and then one in goalkeeping the reason why I have this is because I don't want to hire any coach that is less than four stars before we go into looking at the team let's look at the training plan this is what the team looks like I'm obviously going to change this formation because I actually find it really really shit for Real Madrid right now unless I want to play Vinicius and Rodrigo as the two strikers which I might actually try and if it doesn't work out I'm going to change the formation because I really like the fact that all four of those um, midfielders are in the midfield I'm going to change the training plan to performance focus and I'm going to apply this for the entire team and I'm going to change it when, once we get to the first match of preseason. And for the objectives, we're supposed to, okay, no youth development, that's interesting sign three players born in North America, that's probably not going to happen because I'm not definitely not going to do that then continental success UEFA Champions League win the cup obviously win the league win the okay so they are literally asking for the treble and that reminds me the goal of this series is to get the treble so we're going to stop the series as soon as we get the treble so if it's in the first season then that's good for me we're probably most likely going to do it in like two seasons so the point is that the goal is just to get the treble then as for the team this is what it currently looks like so let me just do a couple changes to the tactics and all and then I will show you guys once I'm done. So I'm done and this is what the team looks like now. We have Vinicius and Rodrigo up top, then Bellingham the ceiling position, Modric and Valverde, sorry about my voice, Modric and Valverde, at the CM position, then Chouameni in the DM position, Mendy and Militao as the full backs, then Rodrigo and Alaba as the centre backs with Courtois and goal. Courtois is actually injured in real life, which means Kepa is supposed to be playing, but I'm not going to do that because that's just not something I'm going to do ever. Then as for the bench, we have Jose Lu. I don't know if it's Jose Lu or Jose Lu, but yeah, that guy. Then Brahim, Cruz, Kamavinga, um, Nacho Fernandez, and Carvajal with Kepa as the substitute keeper. Then for the reserves, you have all these players that I'm most likely going to send out on loans because I'm hardly ever going to play them except in like cup matches where I feel like um, we are not going to need our first team or a really good team to play. Then for the formation, it's the default Real Madrid formation in the game, 4 one 2 one 2 Tactics, I use custom and I don't know why the thing is red. I guess we just can't, I mean, it's just not allowed. I don't know if it's allowed or not, but I mean, it's, it's there right now. So I just hope that applies to the games. So we have press after possession loss and then the depth is 70, the team with 60. Then for offense, we have long ball and possession with the width being 50, which has also increased to 60 if we want to do that. And then players in the box, not really bothered about all these ones. For instructions, we have Vinicius and Rodrigo both on drift wide and getting behind. Vinicius is on stay forward and Rodrigo is, you know, Bala basically. Bellingham, I wanted to put him on stay forward, but I was thinking um, let's just leave one player to stay forward and the player is going to be as fast as Vinicius, so I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to leave this unbalanced. Then he's also on a free run and then Modric is on basically nothing and then Valverde is on a get forward role. Chouameni is on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and aggressive interceptions. Then Militao is on overlapping and then Mendy is on joining the attack and overlap. Courtois is currently the highest rated followed by Vinicius and Valverde but I'm going to do a bunch of development schedules for the players and I'll be back once I'm done with that. I'm done with that and as for the youth academy, I'm not going to be doing anything with this because this is just going to be like a maximum of three seasons, two seasons and well, there's really no point of there being a youth academy. So. Yeah, I, I release all the youth players and you know just goes to leave it like that as it is. So now that I'm done with all that needs to be done, let's simulate to the very first match of preseason, or it's not the first to the invitation. So this one gives the most money, and we have teams like Manchester City, Dortmund, Liverpool, Leipzig, and Chelsea in it. So 
this is definitely what I'm going to be going for and it's probably going to be the most competitive. So let's see what we can do in the preseason. Ushering in a new era at the club. Can he bring fresh ideas? We're about to find out. Stay with us on EA TV. The challenge that was required. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Andrej. Can he make it count? And it's in! Real Madrid firmly in charge here. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Might work out. Oh, he could finish. Oh, chipping it. Oh, a superb chip. Spellbinding. And a short corner, let's see. Tony Kors waiting to pounce. Oh, great block. It's gone in, and well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, Derek, they were better than their opponents in all aspects of the game. They defended well enough, they dominated midfield, and they created chances as well. It was a great performance. Unbeatable feeling of match day's encounter. Anticipation levels are sky high, and every expectation this game will live up to its billing. Good idea. Now, will they do it from here? Oh, there it is! A back and forth sort of match. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. Well, I must say, it's always a joy to be in this particular city, Vancouver, and this particular venue, BC Place. And we have pre-season action to bring you with the final group stage game moments away. It's Real Madrid facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, both these teams will be looking for a strong finish to the group stages here today in what has been a really good tournament so far. Certainly the quality of the football has been excellent. Just hope that's the case again today. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. Oh, good vision. Now he's got to stay calm. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Yes, Derek, there wasn't much in it, to be honest. Really competitive game with chances at both ends, but they probably just about edged it overall and deserve the result in the end. So, Dortmund, it was a really tough time, but we're able to come out with the win in that match. And he's looking kind of weird with the beard, because, I mean, I just don't see myself ever having that kind of beard. So, I'm just, I'm just going to take it off now and move on my life. There we go, clean shaven. All right, so I just want to check if there are any new ones. And yes, they are. So, there is this guy. All right, so the defense has five, two five stars. And I'm really no, I'm just going to go for this guy with the defense five star. And then I want to work on midfield the most. So that other five star coach that is five star everywhere is going to come to the midfield. Midfield, there you go. Then for our goalkeeper, I think we can get another four star. Yes. And then for our attacking, we can get another four star if I'm not wrong. Definitely. We, ha we actually have a lot of coaches here. And I think I just saw another five star for the midfielders. I mean, the midfield has the most amount of players, like in the starting 11, they have four. The defense has four, but still, the uh, midfield has four as well. So I'm going to be. Yeah, we're really close. Just one more five star rated midfielder. But the, the, um, the capacity is, is, is 13. So we're going to have to work really hard to be able to get everything even though i don't think it's possible though but i think there's a four star for attacking there's a four star for midfield there's a four star for defense and there's a four star for goalkeeper so i'm going to go with the goalkeeper so that we can reach we can get over the ideal and then for the defense i think i'm going to go with the other four star i don't even know how many we have just one open position left and all right so i'm just going to go for that so 
We're good. Next up, we have the match against Athletic Bilbao in the La Liga, the first match of the season. And I'm not going to be playing it, I'm going to be playing the pre seed for the playable highlights. But before I do that, let's look at the tactical vision. They use a counter attack, and okay, so I think our our own tactical vision, our custom tactical vision, can actually counter that. Let's do a press conference real quick. See, he looks better than without the shaving thing, in my in my own opinion, though, because some people actually prefer to get beard. So Real Madrid fans have been have been enjoying what they have seen. Yeah, we actually had a really good preseason, and Vinicius did as well. He had a very very good preseason. So it's a talented group of players. I actually really like it because. We were able to beat all those three teams. Okay, we didn't beat Bergamo Castle because we did play good highlights for that one and it was just shit. But um, there's always a real sense of unity. The team good enough to win the league. Yes, they are winners, obviously, and they're definitely, if I actually play my best and the game doesn't focus on the simulations and all that, and play good highlights, then we should be able to win the league. Preseason has been difficult for Carvalho. I mean, he didn't actually play. He never started. But he started the one against um, Bergamo Calcio. Um but he's not going to be a starting player. I know most Real Madrid fans might want him to start, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be playing Militao on that right-back position until I can get a new right-back, which is probably going to be in January. I'm looking at Alexander-Arnold or maybe Hakimi, but some something that's realistic. I think Alexander-Arnold is going to be way more realistic than, than Hakimi, though. So, I mean, you guys should definitely let me know in the comment section which right-back you would want me to to buy because that is one position that I want to replace in the team. Carvajal is a big player for us at Real Madrid. Obviously, I mean, he has been there for a long time. So, I mean, he's a really important player. He's going to be a, he's going to be like more sporadic or more rotational than, than a crucial player there. But that's the end of the preseason. And well, if you guys have enjoyed the video so far, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And regardless of what I said in the press conference, Carvajal is going to be starting this match. I mean, it's the first match and I want the actual captain to start it. I don't know if he's the actual captain of Modric, but I mean, he's the default one of the game, so I'm going to leave it at that. Let's see if we can actually get the win against Bilbao. Win. Real Madrid solo run. This is a chance for, for Rodrigo more than Vinicius. So let's just try. Hold up. Hold up with Vinicius and then... Oh my god. That is actually what I actually don't understand most times. Like, that pass was easy. Like, he could have just given it to Rodrigo easily, but that happened. Yeah, Courtois made a good save. Courtois is one hell of a keeper though. I mean, he's he's huge. All right, so Rodrigo looks like the best option here. So I'm going to be giving this to him straight up. Let's hope there are no problems. Hopefully he wasn't offside. Okay. And yeah, all right. So I was getting pretty tense that he wasn't going to score that. But he does score it though, and 1-0. We have yet another attack though. And you know, I, I popped it up. I was expecting Vinicius to like run in that direction. But I probably should have waited for him to run if I made the pass. But now we have a corner. I think I'm going to call in Vinicius on this one. Or you know what? Let's just try and see if Militao can get something on this. Well, he doesn't get to Militao though. But we still have the ball. This is Rodrigo. Bellingham, Cruz. Oh my god. I forgot how good Cruz is at this. Alright, let's try something crazy here. I'm going to call him Vinicius, but I'm going to give it to Rodrigo, who will have a... Alright, so that was pretty dumb. <laughs> but at least I'm winning the match, which which is which is what matters. So, 1-0, I'm pretty okay with 1-0. So, alright, so we don't have anything to actually guide us here. So let's hope that it goes to the right people. Well, it doesn't. And I'm pretty sure this is the end. We, we did get the ball there, but I mean, we did win the match. That's what matters. 1 0 Rodrigo is one that got the win for us. We could have possibly got another goal with Chris because that was a really crazy shot that he made. But I mean, he hit the bar and well, we still win the match, and that is what matters. Next up, we have Almeria. We're not at home, so we're not going to be playing the full match for this one. I want to make the first match we play to be in our stadium. The first full match we play, I want it to be in our stadium. Yeah, I'm really not interested in any other thing. So kick off, let's look at what we can do with the team here. Okay, so I'm still not going to start Jose Lu over Vinicius or Rodrigo in a main match. So I'm going to be simulating this one. That's what the team looks like. And we do 3-1, Bellingham, Vinicius and Chouameni get their first goals for the season. Kamavinga is injured, so I'm hoping it's not really a bad injury though. We are 6 of 6, we've won 2 games out of 2 and we are still away from home. I don't understand why we're starting 3 matches in a row, like away from home. But I mean it's not really, I, I don't really think it matters, I just hope that we do win the match against Celta. You can rush the tank salvation which I'm not really interested in because I'm not playing the match, I'm simulating it. And I actually forgot to look at how long Kamavinga is going to be injured for, so that's actually going to be a really big blow. 
Odagula is one player that I feel like I want to um, play more because I mean I don't really know him because I don't watch Real Madrid matches like that but he seems to be a good player from the comments I've seen on YouTube posts and stuff like that. Well here's what we're starting with though is the same front two Bellingham is still going to be the starting CAM and let's hope that we get the win here. Yes we do once again 3-1 yet again um Rudiger, Rodrigo and Bellingham get the goal so Bellingham has scored two in two that's really nice that's what he's doing in real life and I'm mean, he's one hell of a player in real life, but let's hope we can actually replicate that in the game. So in terms of Kamavinga's injury, he has torn his hamstring and he's actually going to be out for three months. That is sad. But finally, we have a match against Hetafe in our stadium. So we're going to be playing the full match of this. Alright, so Hetafe's tactical vision is a counter-attack. I'm not going to do any training session for this match against Hetafe because I feel like our team should be able to do something here. But we're going to go into the press conference for the first home match of the season. Everybody at Real Madrid enjoyed that comfortable to go win in your last game. Do you get the feeling that Hetafe will be worrying about having to play? just now well i don't really care about that to be honest but with the opposition we're worrying about us i mean with the games we've had with the preseason that we've had and two three games that we've had prior to this i mean they should be worried because we'll be in the mood for sure this team's absolutely been flying lately how confident are you that your players can continue turning in this level of performance i mean with the fact that i'm going to be playing this match of course we are going to have yet another really good match here but this is what i expect from the team and then the last question, so the, so another transfer window comes to an end, looking at the situation ahead of the new season, are you comfortable with your squad? I mean, I didn't even bring any players apart from the players that we brought to the team in real life. That's Kepa, Koselu, and some other players that we brought in on loan. I don't really know how many players there were, but we've got what I need. This team is actually absolutely good. From the matches that I played in preseason, the team is really, really good. Here's the lineup I'm going to be going for. Cruz is starting around Madrid and he's going to be the captain. And then I'm starting Arda Gula over what is face Valverde because I just want to try to see how good he is exactly and well I can't wait to see if he's actually going to make an impact in this match or not we're playing ultimate five minutes let's hope we get the win the stadium is buzzing already and with good cause all right so I always love looking at those things so we are starting now and well this is the first match we're going to be playing fully in the um what do you call it in the league so let's hope that we actually get the win here and let's hope the win is in fact good because i want to enjoy this match as best as possible okay give it to vinicius to rodrigo and that was not a very good shot that was a really weird shot to be honest okay we want to release rodrigo here and let's hope it actually does work it does and we score yes we do rodrigo has the first goal of the of the game and yeah we go with the sue and yeah it's a really good goal okay so we have defensive duties here and let's hope that we can do what is right good block from rudiger and let's hope Militao can escape to gula and to rodrigo Take it up, that's good. Then back to Vinicius. Please don't fuck up when you fucked up. I mean, I think it was pretty easy not to fuck up that pass, but he, he fucked up for some reason. But let's try again here. Go wide. And yeah, we are not getting the passes that we need to get for some reason. Yeah, that was really dumb. All right, so Bellingham looks like he's free. And of course, the passes just don't come up for some reason. I don't understand why. But we have yet another chance here. Let's see what Bellingham can do. Can this work out? No, it doesn't. And let's see if Cruz can get something on that. Let's just try and time it very well. Back to Vinicius, back to Rodrigo. And hits the post and it's out. All right, Bellingham to Rodrigo, maybe. And that is the second goal. That was a really good, really good play between um, Vinicius Bellingham and uh, Rodrigo. So, yeah, I really, I really love that goal. I love the play before the goal, the the through lob from from Vinicius and the one touch pass straight to, to Rodrigo, and it was a one touch finish. And well, Rodrigo is looking like the man that's going to be scoring most of my goals, to be honest. But I mean, I don't really mind the scores as long as we win the matches. All right, what do we have here? Wide to Mendy. And I'm looking for a cross, which I'm not getting. Oh, 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 oh. That is a hat trick in the first half. That was actually really well timed. I wasn't even expecting him to get all the way to Rodrigo. And I wasn't expecting for him to be free in the first place. 
and well, he was he was a miss from there, was he? Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Yeah, I timed that really well, and well, that is a hat trick in the first half, and that is good for him, man. What? He just went through our defense like butter or something like that. All right, so that's half time, and it has been a really good match for our team, especially for Rodrigo. He's had one hell of a half, and well, because of that, I don't really want. I mean, he has, he has done enough. He has done enough, so I'm going to be bringing him off, even though he hasn't really done that much in terms of his energy. So I'm going to bring him off for Jose Lu and well, let's start the second half. All right, what do you guys got for me here? And Bellingham. And Aguila, maybe. All right, and he does actually get a goal. He does actually get a goal in this match. That is insane. He does actually get a goal. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's nice. That's good for him. I mean, Bellingham had two chances there. Second one, and then just goes to Aragula, and he, he does get a goal. So that's 4-0 for our team, and I'm, I like the Aragula score. You know, I think I think now that he has scored, I actually like, have a little bit of bias with him. But let's just... Yeah, he's going to be coming up now. <laughs> uh, let's bring in Valverde. And I think that's all that I am actually actually want to do here. Brahim is actually a player that should play a couple matches. I know. So the players that are actually on the bench actually have that red sharpness thing, which means their their match sharpness isn't good enough. So I, I I guess I'm going to have to work on that after this match. All right, let's try not to concede here. I really I really like my clean sheets. Thank you. I really love my clean sheets. Okay, so Vinicius, Cruz, come on, get the ball. What the hell were you doing? He was just daydreaming there. Okay, good from Mendy. And yeah, bad for many. And I think that's the Greenwood that actually that actually had that whole um court case. See, it's happy. That's true. That's so true. Um, all right. Let's hope that we can actually stop them from scoring. Please, good from Rudiger. That's really, really good from Rudiger. Let's see if we can release Vinicius. And we have no way they're going to catch him, right? No way in hell they're catching him. And yeah, that's five nil. Go for Vinicius and. I mean, this battle is never going to be complete without a goal from Vinicius. And of course, he does his signature celebration. And well, it was it was really good. And with the play styles, he's not going to miss from there. He's not going to miss from there. So that was that was a really good finish from Vinicius. And I really love it. I really love that we're making this match um, one-sided, completely one-sided. And then Valverde is coming to the match for now. I mean, yeah, for now. And then let's start. Again, and let's hope that we can get a six. What I'm actually looking for right now is a goal for Bellingham. I'm, I mean, I really don't mind if he doesn't score, to be honest. First of all, I don't really see us making any changes apart from tired legs. I'm going to bring in Modric for Cruz and Carvajal for Militao because they're like the most tired of the team. All right, so let's see. Okay, good save from Courtois. Good, good fucking save from him. And well, let's just try and get past this press, which we do easily. Let's give it to Vinicius. Let's hope it does get to him. In fact, it doesn't. And yeah, the, the defense did really well there. All right, so Vinicius has a chance for a brace here. And he's possibly going to get... Oh my God, that was really dumb. I always think this is uh, this is FIFA 23 where um, I cannot do that. And it just goes into the post. So slots itself into the post. Well, let's see. Bellingham. Oh, that was not to Bellingham. What the hell was that? To Valverde, maybe. Oh, that was close. All right, one minute of stoppage time. We have the match is over already, and we've absolutely demolished Getafe in this match in the Bernabeu at that. So it's a really good win. Rodrigo did get the hat trick in the first half, which I completely forgot about. He had a really good match, and I don't know why the fuck game is still glitched like this, even after all the updates. But um, yeah, it was really good. Vinicius almost got the sixth goal and his brace in the match, but you know, for some reason he did not. And it was actually my fault that he did not get it. So it's a really good win at the Bernabeu yet again. That was a very good match, and we are still first position with the help of goal difference, by the way, because Sevilla, for some reason, has a win streak going as well with four wins in four games, and they're also on 12 points as well. Barcelona is all the way down in sixth position with eight points, and Atletico Madrid is seven points in eighth position. So as for next episode, we have a top start with Real Sociedad, then we have the first Champions League match, and then um, Atletico Madrid is going to be after that. And then we possibly, okay, we have Napoli in the Champions League as well. That's probably going to be in the next episode as well. And then we have Barcelona as well at the end of October. 
which is going to be a tough match. I don't know if that's going to be the next episode of not or not, but I'm going to try and squeeze all of that in one episode. Hopefully I can, but it doesn't really matter if I can or cannot. So, well, this is the end of the episode. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section which players you would like me to bring into this team when the January transfer window starts. And well, as always, see you guys in the next video. Peace.